He was very effective coming in off the wing last season for Ulster. Let's see if they can work something this time. Picked off the back. Whitten almost gets to the 22. Long pass this time. Darren Cave had to catch the ball high and standing still. Tackle but presented the ball well. Now Ulster switch direction. Chris Henry hit from two sides. The ball is there. Isaac Boss tries to skip over the ruck, find a way through. Ball bobbles around, it's squirted out. And somehow Ulster managed to hold on to the possession. Ian Humphreys gets the pass to Henry. Roll away, four, four. Now Ulster try once again. Nagusa out of the tackle, gets his pass to Witten. Witten his pass to Danielli. Can Danielli make the line? Skips inside. Jerry Collins tackle. Try number three for Ulster. Second try for Simon Danielli. And it's nothing more than Ulster deserved. It looked like the play had stalled at the 22. But it recovered well and then opened up the gap. A brilliant piece of play from Nagusa. The ball eventually to Danielli. And he just stepped inside Jerry Collins tackle. Again, as you say, nothing more than Ulster deserved. Excellent play, they built the phases and then they came back from right to left. Ian Humphreys was in control of the situation, played a nice tidy little spot pass. And from there, Nagusa managed to get his hands through the tackle and Ian Whitten did very, very well at the end. And again, Danielli had a lot to do, but he stayed on his feet and managed to get it in the corner. But again, it, 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 Ulster deserve, you know, deserved that score, fantastic phase play before that. And again, Ospreys, it's, they're their own worst enemies at 